think that was a smart move by George Carl. He kind of diffuses it's any decoy, early right? histrionics that's going to go on here. Here's Jeff Malone against Ricky Pierce. And Jeff Malone Jeff hitting Malone. what else? An off-balance shot. Gary Payton is a guy who loves to pass the ball, loves the assist, and really is a bad shooter and, and has been a bad shooter, but he's, he's improved somewhat in this series. He's shooting 41% in this series. Barrows puts pressure on Jeff Malone. And Malone takes him right inside and scores over it. Now that's a tough Jeff shot. Malone. But he's a tough shot maker. Pierce around the cage screen. With one to shoot, McMillan almost saved it. Now it's Jeff Malone back quickly. Takes it all away. And gives the Jeff Jazz Malone. a three-point lead. But that's something that, uh, that they can take advantage of. They may just milk that. That's the way George Carl likes to coach. He finds something that works, and then he milks it. And McKee is five for five from the field of the game. Jeff Malone over Benjamin. Jeff I mean, Malone. there are not many guys that you want to encourage to take those shots. Over a seven-footer, right? But he has a knack. Sonics with their 11th turnover. There's Jeff Malone with the floater. Tipped away, loose ball, Peyton. Peyton off the drive, a lob to Kemp. That pass was deflected in midair. It still got to Kemp. Well, that's the thing that Jerry Sloan wants to avoid. He's done a great job so far in his series to keep Sean Kemp from dunking the ball and electrifying the crowd. Jeff Malone draws the foul and scores the basket. Well, when you, when you get Mark Eaton and you make him get busy and move his body defending instead of just zoning off, much easier to take advantage of them. See some real tough action inside. Yeah, McMillan against Ben oh, and my. Jeff Malone yeah. drops one from long range. He's got 15. You can't stop him on the offensive end, so you've got to make him work on the defensive end. Try to cool him off or tire him out. Plus, you get some scoring yourself. Stockton gets past McMillan. Now Jeff Malone, the open shot. Oh, he's got the hot hand, and John Stockton knows it. 17 points for it. JD, that's the same pass that David Benoit missed. Ball was down in the low box. A lot of, lot of uh, congestion defensively by the Sonics. Malone was left wide open on the baseline. Second straight basket for Ricky Pierce. He has eight. Well, we got some mano a mano going here. Ricky. Both coaches going to their guys with a hot hand. Pierce and Jeff Malone. And here we go again. Malone around the Malone screen. <laughs> well, I've seen this guy get in zones. Of course, the Ricky Pierce can get in zones, too. And when they do, every everything they throw up goes in. The Jazz with another crack, and here's Jeff Malone scoring the basket and drawing the foul. Jeff Malone is putting the Utah Jazz on his shoulders right now. Corner team foul. Edwards and Corner return for Utah. Right, watch this move. Oh, screen and roll. Doesn't use the screen. Comes by. Floats. Nails it. They're only down by six. Well, they're, they're hanging in the game because of the pace of the game and because Utah is relying basically on one guy to score right now. You're not seeing Carl Malone involved at all. They don't have a post-up game at all. Four on the shot clock. Jeff Malone takes a peek at it, launches a three. He's not a good three-point shooter, but he's in his zone. He has everything going. Man, 24 points for Jeff Malone. Remember, his playoff high this year is 33. A mighty big win for the Utah Jazz. Without question, their biggest in the franchise history. 24 second violation. It was a 24 second violation. That's the whistle. You know, I saw Mark Eaton in the lobby at a hotel before we came over to the game, you know, and I said, nothing of consequence. Whoa! Pierce with a 35 footer at the buzzer. It doesn't change the outcome, though. The Utah Jazz and Jerry Sloan have posted a major win in franchise history. Did Malone score in this quarter? Jeff Malone did not score here in the fourth, but Carl Malone did. But anyway, Utah with a six-point victory and a commanding 3-1 to edge in this series.